With such a wide array of helmets available on the market for road cyclists, you'd be forgiven as somebody new to the sport for wondering exactly what you need and also what you get when you spend a little bit more money. Well, let us explain. A first and very important thing to note is that generally spending more money on a helmet won't make it any safer. In fact, some studies have shown that there's no difference between a cheaper helmet and a more expensive helmet in this particular regard. And I guess that's not particularly surprising given that most countries around the world have certain safety standards which helmets have to meet before they are made available for sale to the general public. Now those safety standards will differ ever so slightly from one country to the next, which is something we've covered in a previous video on helmet safety standards, a link to which you will find at the end of this video. So, if spending more on a helmet doesn't make it any safer, what exactly do you get? Well, at the lower end of the market, spending a little bit more money on your helmet should save you a bit of weight. So I'm talking about the difference between spending, say, $40 or $50 up to around $80 to $100. At $40 to $50, you're going to get a helmet which weighs around about 300 grams. And once you get up to this price point, that will be closer to 200. I think this is 220 grams to be exact. So that weight difference is only 80 grams. Hardly going to make you suddenly turn into a Tour de France winning rider but it will feel far less cumbersome on your head. However, going upwards from this price point, you're going to see very little difference in terms of the helmet's weight. In fact, if you opt for an aero helmet, something we'll talk about a little bit later on, it actually might be slightly heavier. One of the main things you will get spending more than that amount is a much better fit. And fit's really important actually when it comes to the helmet doing its job. Because if you get a helmet which is too big, the likelihood is that it will move in the case of an impact. Too small, it'll be perched on top of your head and not offer you the protection around here that it is designed to do. Now almost every model of helmet will come in a variety of sizes, so you can choose the circumference which is most suited to your own head size. However, there's a lot more to a good fit than simply a circumference size around the internal part of the main helmet itself. The first of those is the straps, which will be much better designed and generally with a better material as well when you spend a bit more money. And that means they're less noticeable, which is a good thing. So they'll fit nice and snugly around your ears and under your chin with that better material as well. Secondly, they'll be more put into the quality of the internal padding around here. Quite often it'll be moisture wicking as well, which is great on those hot days when you're exercising hard. And thirdly, more will be put into this retention system. Now our helmet partners, Cask, have got this octofit system which not only adjusts the internal diameter of the helmet so that it's a nice snug fit all the way around your head there's also a large degree of adjustability up and down there as well and that's great if you've got a ponytail but also if like me your skull protrudes out the back of your head and it's all knobbly Another consideration is the venting on your helmet. So in general, investing a bit more money will either get you more vents or at least get you vents which work better. So designed to maximize the airflow whilst you're out riding your bike. That is again, of course, unless you are investing in an aero helmet, which I promise we will get onto very shortly indeed. So whether or not this needs to be a consideration to you really depends on the type of climate in which you ride. Our last point then is aerodynamics, although I will say that we haven't done these in any particular order. Now an aero helmet will cost you a little bit more money and that's because the manufacturers will have to test them out in the wind tunnel and they'll also probably test them out on professional riders in teams that they've had to spend money sponsoring. A more aero helmet will allow you to go faster for the same effort on flat roads and downhills and even climbs to an extent if you're quick enough. For the vast majority of riders, this is not a consideration. But for those of you out there who just want to go faster whenever you can, it definitely should be a consideration because a helmet will make a much bigger difference than most of the upgrades that you can make to your bike. Now, aero helmets come in two different types. The first of those is a time trial specific aero helmet like this one. Uh, you'll see them used, of course, in time trials for pro rides, but also for triathletes as well. And they offer very little or even no ventilation at all. On the other hand, you can also get road aero helmets like this one, which is the Cask Infinity. And I particularly like this one. It's quite clever. So when you want it, you can have ventilation through here. And when you want to go as fast as you possibly can, you can shut that off and be very aerodynamic indeed. I actually quite like this helmet for use in the winter as well, because without that ventilation, it means you're much more protected from the winter elements. So in conclusion, if you're about to buy a road helmet, you don't have to spend very much money at all to ensure it meets the safety standards in your own country. 
Spending more on your helmet should mean it's a lot more comfortable, it fits better, it's better ventilated and it might even make it more aerodynamic. Now, if you would like to see the video that I talked about earlier where we talk through safety standards in the various countries, you can find it in the top left hand corner just up there. On the other hand, if you would like to see how to clean your helmet, we've got a video for that too in the bottom corner. And if you're yet to subscribe to our channel, GCN, it is absolutely free. All you've got to do is click on the globe.